Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of Bird Dog Chocolate Flavored Whiskey. On the back it says, not much of anything. It says Bird Dog Chocolate Flavored Whiskey, caramel colored added, bottled for Western Spirits by the Spring Bottling Company, Bowling Greens, Kentucky. Which is funny because the uh, bird dog, I think it was blueberry or blackberry or something like that, won like top whiskey in some San Francisco or some sort of big named contest along that line. So I'm surprised to see that it's where the Bowling Greens, Kentucky. What would have thought that if it won a contest in California, it would be brewed in California. And being brewed in Kentucky, it would win something in Kentucky. It was so, so good. But, that's that. Yes, I understand. People can travel across the state. But, hey, one would have thought. Anyways, cork. Usually you don't find cork anymore. So I did try their was it blackberry or something, and it was fantastic. So when I saw they had chocolate. I hunted this sucker down. A little bit of water. There we go. Put the cork on. Make sure I don't spill it. This is what we get. They like said caramel color added. Well, they added just enough amount to make it nice. It is a nice caramel color. Pretty clear. It's got a good, good color. You can smell the chocolate right off the bat. You can smell a heat to it. And the chocolate. You don't smell a whole lot else. Easy, buddy. Good friend of mine. But like I said, there's not a whole lot of peatiness or any kind of whiskiness to it. You get this kind of like the flush of alcohol in the scent, mind you, and then this chocolate. Bottle does claim to be 80 proof. But that means it's 40% alcohol. And you can taste it. Man, it hits you right off the bat. Absolutely just nails you in the face. It doesn't bite you on the tongue like you'd expect a, um, a young whiskey would. But this would, it definitely, definitely hits you with that whiskey burn. And when you think it's gone, it just simply just comes back, kind of went up the, up the back of the, the, the palate there and almost into the nose, just the, the, that whiskey burn to it, definitely bites. But once you get past that, it's a wonderful chocolate, absolutely fantastic chocolate um, dominance. So you get hit with the burn, fades out, because it's nice chocolate, and then you get hit with that burn again. And it just keeps in that pattern. You think you get used to it. Yeah, because in, in some whiskeys, you get that um, that burn, you kind of get, it kind of, your taste buds sort of get used to it. So the burn isn't as dominant. Then you can start tasting the rest of the flavors. This doesn't. It hits you and it hits you again. It hits you again. It hits you again. And then once that initial punch is gone, you get that chocolate flavor. Then you get the punch a second time. So give it a try. See what you think. Now there is a recipe that came with this uh, bird dog chocolate, and they called it an Irish setter or something. Obviously, with, keeping with the bird 
dog motif. And it was using um, a Kahlua into it. And I added the Kahlua to it, and it only seemed to just water the whole thing down. The alcohol punch was gone, but so was the rich chocolate flavoring. I'm wondering how this will go in a cocktail that involves soda, such as a Coca-Cola or some other kind along that line. Whether you get a nice chocolate Coke out of it, or not. As for a standalone whiskey, it's not much. It's really heavy in the chocolate, almost too heavy, and I'm a chocolate fan, and it's almost too heavy in the chocolate. The initial bite uh, is a bit of a put-off. The end bite is a bit of a put-off. Uh, you can tell by how it uh, tears on the side of the glass that it's a bit on the syrupy side on the palate. So that's a bit of a put-off. Uh, like I said, I was really looking forward to trying this particular whiskey because on the website you saw the different arrays of flavors that they have. But um, it just... I expect it better, to be honest. It's not a bad whiskey. Do not get me wrong, especially if you like chocolate. It's almost as if you're drinking a chocolate bar. But I expected other flavors, other layers, and so forth and so on. But definitely, give it a try. See what you think. This is Bird Dog Chocolate Flavored Whiskey. He said it's not bad. It's definitely a dessert whiskey. Uh, possibly better with ice. Uh, it wouldn't hurt it at all. Like I said, the water is supposed to give it, uh, to open it up. It does, and like I said, you just get more, more nice chocolate out of it. But the problem is, is the, the alcohol burn kind of takes away from the show. Try it, see what you think. Like I said, it's, it's worth the money, it's worth trying, but you really have to go and put your two cents into this to see what you think, if you like it. For me, eh, it was it was worth the money, but that's as far as I'll give it. This is a review of Bird Dog Whiskey. Give it a try. See what you think. Write down any comments you have down below this particular product. Or better yet, buy it. Try it yourself. And uh, make a video of yourself explaining your review online to the rest of us in the YouTube community of your thoughts on Bird Dog Chocolate. Like I said, it's definitely worth, it's worth the price of admission. How's that? But I'm not sure if this is a show you want to come back to. But definitely worth the cost of admission. Give it a try, see what you think. Until next time, keep on drinking.